Lori is going to talk to us about what you can do, even if you don't have whoever your entire group is on board yet. So I'm very excited to hear her talk. Lori. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, again, Lori Mark, Genesee Trent, for Teaching Council of Rochester, New York. Um, you know, most times, those of us, who here is in government, not necessarily science, but more of just your community planner, government? Okay, good. I was hoping there would be a handful. Uh, my message is, is for you folks and, and those online. Uh, I spent almost um, 20 years working for the State Department of Transportation in Rochester, and I know all about how when VIPs come to town, they have an advanced detail when somebody's in charge and you shall do this and we need this many um, assets, whatever it is. Yeah, that's not coming <laughs> for this. And it's what I keep hearing from all these different presentations that I've, I've attended. Um, answer. Uh, so just really quickly, Angela, can you advance me? Is it not working? Oh, there we go. I don't know. Uh, so Jim had alluded to it, but you know, you can't wait for that um that try to, to be handed to you and just keep waiting. Um, or worst case, it does come and then it it's not really as, as ideal as this Uh so yeah, it doesn't come with a manual um, on finding. Um, you have you have to create your own, but more more importantly, use the resources that are out there. We are learning from each other, and there's such great information out there. Uh, that, that we can learn from, uh, but it doesn't do any good to have it on my computer and my desk. I really need to you know, share that with, with others. Um, and there's a lot of things we don't know for transportation planning, but we do know that um, people outside the path are, are going to get inside with the least path of least resistance. They don't care what the boundaries are. They don't care the counties. They don't care what kind of road it is. Uh, so we want to kind of keep that in mind. And a couple of things that I encourage you, I give you permission if you want it or need it. Like, the other way. Um, and just really quick, because they have other great presenters here today, is it's a couple of things about educating yourself, using your network, and just acting. Just go ahead and do it. Um, just education. Educate yourself. Open your mind. It's okay to think about topics that we are not used to. It's okay to talk to our um, other people. We can look at websites. It's okay to look at greatamericaneclips.com on work time. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, you know, those types of things that uh, it's okay to follow uh, different social media posts and, and, and learn about this. It's okay to, uh, uh, you know, just attend some author talks or read some books, you know, that's uh, sign up for email lists. There's a lot of things that you can do and encourage your, um, you know, your colleagues to do the same. Use your network. My boss, when I first started out of college, told me that and working for an engineering um, agency, I'm not an engineer. He goes, you don't need to be an engineer. You have a network <laughs> of people. Uh, so find who you need. And I carry that three-word phrase with me everywhere. And it's so true with this. Uh, so be sure to introduce yourself. Um, you know, meet up with people that have similar interests. Grab people and go have breakfast and bagels and hey, what are what did you do? You know, of course, with the, the internet, it's so so easy to do this. With I follow Dr. Kate Russo. <laughs> I, I like on social media five years ago. I would have not known I would have you would have been in my network. It's fantastic. Um, and my other favorite one is um, uh, seek neutral sources. Um, there's some things that we get the government people can't say or can't do or they can't commit to, but there are other people that can. So such as um, our agency at the um, Metropolitan Planning Organization, maybe we can host that um, workshop and just invite you to come along if you're not comfortable being the, the host or being the leader. So try to be creative, um, you know, use your network. And the last topic on there was just act, was just, whoops. This is slide three. Just, just really, um, you know, start, you know, joining things. Just jump in. Don't wait to be told. Uh, lots of times people are worried about, oh, I'm going to step on someone's toes and, oh, maybe they're already doing that. Um, that has re <laughs> reassured that with us that, no, we're working together. And it's such a bigger um, thing about science education and 
um, you know, having a, a good story at the end and not being part of the, the kind of horror stories that, that we talked about. Um, you know, start creating things, um, create some social media posts, create some graphics. It's easy. Um, you know, convey your findings. It's okay to find an article with TR News. Jonathan Upchurch, it was wonderful. Laminate that sucker, take it everywhere you go and share it with folks. Uh, there's so many wonderful resources. Uh, so with that, just I encourage everyone to just follow their instincts. If you feel that something could be done or should be talked about, don't wait for someone to come down with a trident and say, here, or you go ahead. You know, they're gonna just just go for it and and, and make the best out of it out of um, you know what, what you know in your heart. Um, what Gloria is illustrating is information is authority, especially if what you want to do is distribute it for free, cheerfully to the people who need it. 